All right, so the Shanghai draw has just been announced, and it's Novak Djokovic's comeback tournament after the US Open. We also got Alcaraz and Sinner playing, Medvedev's playing, all the big names are playing, Zverev as well. Let's go have a look at who's not playing, though, because there are a couple of key names not playing. So this is the withdrawal list. It's a pretty long list, but a couple of big names only, with Borges not playing, Diminor also not going to be playing, Hercatch. The defending champion is also not playing. Court is also out of the tournament. Lajevic, Marajan, Montero also not playing. Nori, Ovna, and Struff have also decided not to play this event. And Jack Draper, another one who's pulled out. Unfortunately, got injured last week and was unable to play this week. But man, big miss there because Draper's been in some really good form lately. But let's go have a look at who is playing in this tournament and who is available. Okay, so we've got 32 seeds in this one. There's a 96 player draw. It's a huge draw. And everyone gets a buy in the first round who is seeded. So 32 seeds, 32 buys in the first round. Yannick Sinner, the world number one. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either a qualifier or Taro Daniel in the second round. Then you've got Carino Busta taking on Van der Zanschel. Winner of that will take on the number 32 seed Echeverry in the second round. Then you've got Feast, the 21st seed. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either uh, Batista Agu or Bayana in the second round. Then you've got Sonigo taking on qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 14 seed Shelton in the second round. So very interesting draw. Uh, very interesting to see how Sinner does, especially against Shelton, who actually beat him here last year in Shanghai. So You've obviously got to watch out for Sinner. You've got to watch out for Shelton in this one. Also, watch out for Arthur Feast. He's been very, very good lately, especially this week in uh, Tokyo. So, watch out for him as well. And you've also got to watch out for Karina Busta and also Van der Zanschup. Let's see if Van der Zanschup can get another massive win after beating Elkres at the US Open a couple of weeks ago. Next section of the draw, we've got number 10 seed, City Pass. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Nishikori or Navone in the second round. Then you've got Nardi taking on Muller. Winner of that will take on the number 18 seed, uh, Oje Aliasim, in the second round. Then you've got the 29 seed, Anaudi. He'll take on either Manorino or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Vilch taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number five seed Medvedev in the second round. So there, straight away, you can see we might get City Pass Medvedev in a fourth round. Crazy fourth round if we get it. Uh, but also, there's a couple other players there that you've got to watch out for. You've got to watch out for Medvedev. You've got to watch out for City Pass. Uh, FAA, Ojeliasim, of course. You've got to watch out for him. And now he's also been good at times this year. You've got to watch out for him. But also, you've got to watch out for Nishikori. Played very well in Tokyo this week or last week. So really got to watch out for him as well, especially in the second round against City Pass could be really awkward. Next section of the draw, number three seed Alcaraz. He gets a bite in the first round. He'll take on either uh, Sang or Wong in the second round. Then you got Wu taking on Nagel. Winner of that will take on the number 25 seed Jarry in the second round. Then you got Baez, the 22nd seed. He'll take on either Monfils or Jumher in the second round. Then you got Chilis taking on Kazo. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed Umber in the second round. Interesting draw for Alcaraz. He's been playing really well this week so far in uh, Beijing. So maybe not, uh, not super scary for him, but there are a couple of dangerous players in this section, especially unseated players down that bottom part of this section. You've got, of course, you've got to watch out for Alcrez. You've got to watch out for Umber. Uh, you also got to watch out for Jarry. Did get a set off Sinner this week. Hasn't been great over the last couple of months, but still, get a set off the number one in the world. You've got to watch out for that guy. You've got to watch out for Monfils always. Of course, did beat Alcrez on hard courts not too long ago, but you've got to watch out for Marin Cilic. He's the big one. For sure, you've got to watch out for him. He is getting back up the top really quick after winning a title in his comeback event a couple of weeks ago. And also, watch out for Zhang because uh, he just won a title as well. And very good young Chinese player. Could play Elkris in the second round, which will be really, really fun to see. Okay, in the bottom section of the top half of the draw, you've got the number 11 seed, Paul. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Fanini or Dadiri in the second round. Then you've got Opelka taking on Rindanish. Winner of that will take on the number 19 seed, Tabillo, in the second round. Then you've got the 30th seed, Mahatch. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Fakina or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Mute. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed, Rude, in the second round. This draw or this section feels a little bit open, you know? Rude and Paul both having tough times on hard courts over the last week. Both having injury problems as well. Well, at least Paul has. Then Tabilo and Mahatch, you know, maybe they can make a name for themselves in this section. Uh, but you've got to watch out for Rude. You've got to watch out for Paul as well. Got to watch out for Tabilo and Mahatch as well. You know, the big seeds. I also watch out for Opelka though, because Opelka, if this court runs fast, he could serve his way through this section of the draw and really just mess up a few of these guys with that big serve of his. But it's going to be an interesting section. And the bottom quarter of this draw takes on the top quarter. So we could potentially be getting uh, matchups between uh, Sinner versus uh, Alcaraz. Could be the semifinals. We'll be getting Sinner versus Rude. If you want to go with something a little bit different, maybe you think it's not going to be um, Sinner. Maybe you think it's going to be somebody else like Medvedev. Maybe Medvedev versus Alcaraz or Medvedev versus Rude. Maybe you think it's going to be something a little bit different altogether. If you think none of those big boys are going to get through, maybe you think it's going to be someone like Paul versus Shelton. Maybe Paul City Pass if you want to go something a little wild. But very interesting top section. It's very top heavy, this uh, this Shanghai draw. All right, let's get the bottom half of the draw now. We've got Rublev, the number six seed. He gets by in the first round. He'll take on either Menzik 
or Martinez in the second round. Then you've got to qualify taking on Shevchenko. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Sarudolo, in the second round. Then you've got Popper in the 20th seed. He'll take on either Kecmanovic or Hitchcock in the second round. Then you've got Zhang versus Bergs. Winner of that will take on the number 9 seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Interesting section. You know, Rublev's playing okay this week. Dimitrov's coming off injury. Popperin hasn't done much since the US Open. Beating Djokovic, of course, there. Sarundalo, he's had his moments. Uh, so I feel like this is a little bit open. You've got to watch out for Rublev in this section, of course. You've got to watch out for Dimitrov, Popperin as well. I'd also watch out for Sarundalo. But maybe as an unseated player, watch out for Triple Z, Zhang, because Zhang has been really, really good uh, in China, especially. You know, the locals are going to get all the support. So maybe watch out for him as a bit of a danger player in this section, too. Next section of the draw, number 13, CTRFO. It's a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Nishioka or Zhou in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Safulin. Winner of that will take on the number 23 seed, Bublik, in the second round. Then you've got Kabali, 28 seed. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Vavrinka or Piracard in the second round. Then you've got Mikkelsen taking on Boo. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Novak Djokovic. He's back. Novak for the first time since the US Open and uh, first time in a couple years back in Shanghai. So it should be good to see him here. And he's got a pretty good draw. To be honest, you got to watch out for Djokovic, of course, in this section. you got to watch out for Tiafo, who uh, played uh, played well at times at the Labor Cup. Uh, also watch out for Caboli. He's been pretty good lately as well in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but I'd also watch out for Piracar with that big serve, especially on a fast court in Shanghai. could be really awkward. Uh, and I'd also watch out for Mickelson. He has been pretty good at times, Mickelson, over the, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks especially. So he could be a little bit tricky against Djokovic in that second round, potentially. But uh, uh, if you're a Novak fan, you got to be pretty happy with his draw. And the bottom quarters of the draw, you've got Fritz. Number seven seed. He'll take on either Kovacevic or a qualifier in that second round. Uh, then you got Kotov taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on Nakashima, the 32nd seed, who has a buy in the first round. Then you got Lehechka, number 33 seed. He's come in for Draper as that 33rd seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Munar or Gaston in the second round. Then you got O'Connell taking on Berrettini. Winner of that match will take on Runa, the number 12 seed in the second round. Very tricky draw for uh for so, for this these all these players, because all the players uh, are in some sort of form in this section. Obviously, you got to watch over Fritz. US Open final not too long ago. Also, got to watch over Runa. Playing okay this week, as has uh, Nakashima. So, the seeds in this one have been really good. But you also got to watch over Berrettini. And you've also got to watch over Lehechka in this section. So, there's a lot. I mean, this is a very stacked section of the draw. Very dangerous section of the draw for all players involved. And anyone could come out of this section. And the bottom part of the draw, you've got the number 15 seed, Musetti. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Goffin or Duckworth in the second round. Then you've got a qualified taking on Giron. Winner of that match will take on uh, the number 24 seed Hashinov who gets a buy in the first round. Then you've got the 26 seed Thompson gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Greek Spore or Diaz Acosta in the second round. Uh, then you've got two qualifiers playing each other. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on the number two seed Alexander Zverev in the second round. Not a bad draw for Zverev but then as I mentioned before that other section with the Fritz uh, matchups which are absolute nightmares it could get really tough for Zverev eventually but uh, it's not a bad start especially with Zverev coming off some illness uh, but you gotta watch over Zverev in this section. You gotta watch over Musetti as well. Uh, you got to watch over Hashinov. He's been pretty good this week. Starting to get back into some form. Also got to watch over Thompson, of course. Uh, he's been pretty good at times this year as well. Unseated players to watch out for. I don't know if there's too many in this section. Maybe some of the qualifiers that come through, there might be someone to watch out for. But uh, at this stage, I wouldn't be watching out. But maybe, look, maybe you can chuck in someone like a Greek Spore in there or if you want. But uh, this section of the draw, by the way, this bottom quarter will take on that Djokovic quarter. So we could be getting Zverev taken on Djokovic. Uh, we could be getting Zverev taking on Rublev. If you don't think uh, Nole is going to get that far, uh, maybe you're going to go with Zverev taking on uh, Dimitrov. Or maybe Zverev taking on Tiafo could be the matchup that we get in that uh, in that semi-final. But maybe you don't think Zverev's going to get there. He does have a tougher draw than the other guys. Uh, maybe you think it's going to be Djokovic. Maybe it's Djokovic versus Fritz. Maybe Djokovic versus Runa in the semi-finals. Or oh, maybe you want to go with Djokovic taking on Musetti, which we've had a few times this year uh, over uh, over different surfaces. But there it is. That is the Shanghai draw. The Shanghai draw ready to go. And it's an interesting draw. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty... It feels like pretty evenly spread. I think Djokovic probably has the best draw, especially up until the semi-finals. Not too many players there that he should worry have to worry about uh, unless they have a really really good day against him and he has a bad day which unfortunately in 2024 he's had more bad days than good as we've seen uh but who do you think's gonna win the draw who do you think's gonna win the tournament i think Djokovic has got to be pretty happy with the draw sinner alcaraz medvedev have to battle it out on the same half i think sinner's probably the favorite but i don't know i, I like Djokovic's draw here and maybe nole can finally win uh, his 100th title here maybe he can win his 100th title and put himself in that qualification for ATP finals but there it is shanghai draw ready to go starts on wednesday